Hey guys, before we get out and start detecting the field today, I want to share a little bit of the history about what we were out searching for. During the Civil War, word was spread that a Confederate army was forming in Columbia County. They soon became known as the Fishing Creek Confederacy due to the location in which they were rumored to have formed. This ultimately got the response of the government and a Union army was swiftly formed and sent to Columbia County. Upon arrival though, no soldiers were found. It is quoted in the history of Columbia County that the picture is still in our minds of the disgust felt of the 1,000 braves as they reached the summit of the mount, where we were taught to believe the Fishing Creek Army was massed, and which for one long month we were guarded with awe and expectancy and found not a man nor the meanest evidence that a man had ever been there. Hidden in that quote is the fact that the Union soldiers camped out somewhere in Columbia County for an entire month. I've always heard a rumor growing up that this was located somewhere north of Benton, PA but the exact location is uncertain. After finding a few relics that hint at the possibility that we discovered that location, I am excited to get out in the field and unearth possible lost history about the Civil War. All right guys, so I just got out of the truck and I'm back to the field where we discovered all those Civil War relics and bullets. And I'm really excited because today we're gonna try and prove that this is where the Union soldiers camped during the Civil War. So I'm going to get the detector out of the truck. I'm going to get out there on that hump in the middle of the field. You can see that right out there. That's where we found a lot of those bullets. And I'm hoping today we can find something that proves that this was where they stayed. So I will be back to you guys once I get my first find. And hopefully it's a good one. Alright, I have a good signal here. So I thought we would look at this one together. Got a real high squeak to it. It's pretty deep. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Not trying to jinx myself, but... Hopefully we can have our first really good find of the day. Our first signal of the day, so we're going to hunt this one out together. It's ringing up kind of like a bullet, so that's kind of what I'm guessing. It's going to be probably lead. And there it is. Do you see it? We've been here, how, I don't know, five minutes. We already pulled out a bullet. It's a good start to the day. Hopefully we find something today besides these bullets that really can show us something interesting. Alright, we have something decent in the hole, I'm hoping. It's a pretty high squeak, so let's see if we can't find it. I had it pinpointed already a little bit. It looks like it's right there. Oh, another high squeaker, and it's another bullet. It's a real good sign. Got something in the hole. Let's see if we can't find this one together. It's ringing up right around what these bullets have been ringing up for us, but it looks like it's just going to be a big piece of iron. And there it is. I wonder what that could be. Almost looks like, oh, you know what that is? That is a padlock. That's pretty neat. That's awesome. I'm to clean that up a little bit. That might be something to try electrolysis on. So we go, we got a big padlock in the middle of the hole. Wow. I've been doing some thinking since I dug this padlock, and I really feel that this is supporting evidence to the fact that Civil War soldiers camped here during the Civil War. It doesn't say for sure, but I think it's strange that a padlock made it a half a mile from the nearest house into an open field. So hopefully we can find some evidence that really does indicate without a shadow of a doubt that this is the spot that the soldiers camped. Got the next signal here. This one's rigging up like all the other bullets. Oh, and there it is. Just like that. Turn that off. Another two ringer. Two ringer mini ball. Nice. It's been a while since I got a signal, but let's see if you can find it before I pick it up. It's sitting right there. And it's another mini ball. That makes four today so far. Well, I haven't been recording the iron signals I've been getting because most of them have just been junk. But this one looks to be some kind of stake. So it's interesting. It's got a square top on it. Looks like it could be pretty old. Right behind me is where the original train tracks used to sit. And it's very close to where we feel this camp could be. And I feel like this would make it an ideal place to have a camp in the Civil War because it would have made getting supplies in a lot easier for the soldiers. There's also a creek right across, so they would have had a water supply. So I feel like the conditions would have been ideal 
for this to be where the camp could have been. Pop the plug and do you see it? It's sitting right there. Yet again. Another mini ball. Oh, this one's different. This is a neat one. If you look how this one has a deeper groove, this particular bullet was actually used to clean the black powder out of the inside of the barrel. When they would shoot these out of their musket, this back would expand and it would uh, grind out all that black powder that was left in the barrel. So that's pretty cool. That's the first one of these I've actually found. I haven't even taken two steps from where I found my last one and I have another signal. It's in here. It's a lot smaller than what I've been finding. I think that's just a melted piece. Let's clean that off. I'd say that is just a little melted piece of lead. It's starting to get late and I'm running out of time, but I'm still getting good signals. And this one's actually pretty interesting. So this is a big piece of melted lead. And that doesn't seem like much, but with how many mini balls we've been finding, um, I'm starting to think that this was a mini ball that was melted over a fire. And I've heard that um, Civil War soldiers would sit around a fire, they'd throw their mini balls in just to watch them melt because they really didn't have much entertainment or things to do. Oh, man, I broke it. But I think that's probably what that is. I think that's probably a melted mini ball. Today has just been signal after signal. And these bullets, when you find them, they just ring up so high. There's another one. That's another one of those ones they use for cleaning. It's just amazing. I mean, for how many bullets there is, you would think I could find something like a coin or just any kind of different relic, but these bullets are just everywhere. And they ring up anywhere between like a 37, like a pool tab, to all the way up to an 80, like a coin. It's just, it's something else. It's amazing how many of these are in here. All right, guys, it's time to wrap up day one. So today we managed to find six mini balls, and we did find a couple different variants of mini balls, which was really neat. We found a big padlock, and that big iron stake, as well as a lot of iron, uh, a lot of old iron. We found some square nails today that I didn't show. And I really do think we're going in the right direction. So hopefully we have just as much luck tomorrow. All right, I'm heading back down. Today we're gonna start day two of really exploring this field and seeing what we can find. And I have a really good feeling about today. I think we're gonna have some really good luck. Uh, yesterday we did find those six mini balls. So hopefully we can find a few more of them today and maybe something really exciting. All right, got the first signal of the day. It's in the hole. It's right in here. It's a pretty high squeak, but if I had to guess, it's gonna be another one of those bullets. It's right in here. I think it's right. It's in there. Oh, there it is. Yep. First mini ball of the day. We're in a good spot, it looks like. All right, so our last signal was right over there, and now we're here. Got another one somewhere right in here. There it is. Yet again. Another mini ball. Not even 10 feet from the last one. Well, guys, I think I found something pretty cool, but I'm really disappointed that I didn't record digging it. I thought it was a shotgun shell, but I actually think it's the back of a button, and it has writing on it. So we're definitely going to be able to ID what this is. And if there's any chance this could be a Civil War back to a button, that would just be incredible. So I'm not sure yet. I haven't washed it off, so I'm just kind of getting my hopes up. But I'm going to walk over real quick, um, wash it off in the water, and see if we can't read what the back of this button says. Well, I just went and cleaned it off, and it looks like it says H, B, and A extra. So I'm going to look that up and see if I can get any information on that button back. Hopefully it's something interesting. Hopefully it's a good date. Guys, we did it. My brother just got back to me, and that was the back of a Civil War button. So that proves to me that this is where the soldiers camped during the Civil War. And that is just so exciting. Now I can't wait to see what else I can find today. We got our next signal in the plug since we found the button. So I've been going a little bit dry since then, but I think we have another bullet. Let's see. This one's different. This is a round ball, which is the first one of these I found. 
I don't know if that's Civil War here or not, but that is a round musket ball for sure. Could this be our next mini ball? It's right around that signal. It's right in here somewhere. There it is. That one was really hiding on me. That's a big one too. There we go, another mini ball. These will always be exciting for me every time I dig one. Look at that, we have a horseshoe. That's something I would expect to find out in the middle of a field. Neat, take that home with me. This one rang up in the 70s, which is a little different than what I've been digging all day. So we'll see what this could be. It's right there, it's small. Almost reminds me, it looks like a button to me. I don't know what that could be. Not quite sure. I can see something on there. I'm gonna clean that up, I'll be right back. All that I can see out in the field is that it says bros on it. It's got two buttonholes in the back, so I'm not sure what this could be. I'm looking forward to looking this one up. This could be Civil War II, hopefully. Alright, I have something in the hole. This one was a really, really good squeak. Like 80s. It's looking like it's going to be a buckle. And that's what it is. Look at that. That is a... Some kind of buckle. I'm going to guess probably... Shoe, maybe? my first one of those I found in the field so far so that's pretty cool there's another one in there you see it it's right there it's been a while since I pulled one of these and that actually looks like it's one of the cleaner ones so that's pretty neat um, my brother just got here and he's already found five mini balls and he's only been here about 45 minutes or so so between us we found 10 or 12 today already so we're going to keep looking. We're going to find something really good today. I feel it. Well, guys, it's time to wrap up day two. And I would say we had a good day. So we ended up finding four mini balls, three three ringers, and one that's meant for cleaning the barrel. We found a round musket ball, this neat buckle, and two buttons. One that is the back of a Civil War button, and the other that is a mystery button until I look it up later. All I know for now is that it says bros on it, but we'll see if we can't figure that out. I think it's probably an underwear button. But still, we had a good day, and I would say we definitely proved that this is where the soldiers camped during the Civil War. But I'm going to come back, and I'm going to keep looking. I know there's going to be a belt buckle hiding out here somewhere. Alright guys, so here is everything my brother and I have collected from the field to prove that this is where the Union soldiers camped during the Civil War. As you can see, there's multiple different versions of mini balls. We also have some shaved mini balls, and we found a lot of melted lead. He also did find two Civil War Union buttons, but I unfortunately didn't get them recorded because I was not there when he dug them. But they were found in the field that I was digging in this video. I also did find a padlock and that button back. So I feel like all of this proves that this is where the soldiers camped during the Civil War because we didn't have any Civil War activity where I was. There was no battles. So I really feel that this camp's an outlier and that this is definitely where they had to have camped when they were searching for the Fishing Creek Confederacy.